he's made breakfast and all. Of course. <sighs> Are you? Never heard you get up. Didn't you? Still, you'll have had plenty of practice, won't you, stealing from a girl's bed at dawn? Do it all the time. I don't want to know. Well, don't ask, then. So what's your programme for today? I thought I'd just let it happen. You're very good at that. Mm. It's an art. What about Chester? What about Chester? Well, I thought you were going for a job there today. I don't think I'll bother. What do you think? It's up to you. I've gone right off, Chester. Morning, mate. Morning, Hilda. Morning. Uh, do you fancy a cup of tea? Get yourself a cup if you do. Uh, no. No, thanks. I want to get stuck in this morning. It's Kevin's birthday, you see, and I want to get finished soon. Hmm, suit yourself. Right, then I'll, uh, make a start. Poor Hilda. Do you know, she gets that many shocks, it's a wonder she's never been electrocuted. Hey, you! Stop behaving like husband. Oh, make another pot of tea and shut up. Yes, sir. How much that meal cost me last night? I've no idea. Best part of 20 quid. 20 quid, eh? You've got to hand it to them Indians, you know. How do they get us to spend good money on bowls of rice? I'm not even wild about rice pudding unless we've got currents in. Oh, stop moaning. It were my birthday. Well, it's a bad if I'll tell you, I've had all them after us. Only a pig eats three or so sherry's rifle. <laughs> yeah, it was grand to see the lad enjoying himself for a change. You know, after all he's been through. Certainly goes to London the better for me. Don't say that, and definitely not to him. We don't want him going down to no London. It was bad enough when he were in the army. Worrying where he were and what he were doing. Well, one thing he wasn't doing, he wasn't eating three or so sherry's rifle. Oh, is it? Where did Indians learn to make sherry trifle? Oh, hello, Lord. Yeah. I didn't expect to see you up till dinner time. Oh, he didn't get up because he was hungry, and that's a fact. Oh. Do you want me to make you a bit of toast, like, for breakfast? I mean, I've time to do it if you want. No, cornflakes will do. I'll have all next week. So what will you be doing today, then, silly love? I've not decided yet. Oh, so I can expect you back here at dinner time? Yeah, probably. Oh. See you later, then. Ta-da. Great night last night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Cost of the bomb. Moshed up. That's a bit skint. Yeah, it was all in a good cause, though, wasn't it? My mum's birthday. You're lashing out, aren't you? Baking the next sandwiches and vanillas for your levelsies. The boss is paid. Oh, can't be that. Special occasion. It's my birthday. Oh, many happy returns. Thanks very much. How old are you, love? Sweet 17 and never been kissed. 20 and fighting the women off by the hundreds. Oh, Ta-da. Ta-da, love. Ta-da. Yeah, I wish I was 20 again. I know what I know now. I've been running wild in a tight red dress. <gasps> Phyllis Pearson, you a chapel goer. Hey, that might be why you're not getting anywhere with Mr. Sugden. Your image isn't sexy enough. I uh, <laughs> think sex is something to put coal in. Still, I know his weakness now. Bowling. Oh, yeah. oh you're not going to take up bowling, are you? Uh, don't forget your bad leg. Ah, my egg. I'm going to be his biggest fan, aren't I? Oh, aye. And what about your other beau, Mr. Tindall? He's not going to like that one bit, is he? He's a reserve, this Sam. <laughs> Phyllis Pierce, the world's first crown green groupie. <laughs> right, that's me finished. Good. Of course, it makes it a lot easier now, only having the one bedroom to do. You know me, Elder. Always thinking of other people. The greatest happiness for the greatest number. Hello, Michael. How's my favourite fat cat? Short of cream. You want to go in for the simple pleasures, don't you, Frank? Oh. Like that, is it? Like what? Right. I'm off. See you, Chuck. Oh, well, no. You started celebrating early, aren't you? Well, a good excuse, eh? Yeah, I suppose so. Don't overdo it, though. And don't be late for your tea, neither, because I've got you a nice bit of fresh sandwich. Oh, great. Oh, thanks for the present again. I'll oh, go on with you. Eh? Mm. So. There you go. So go on. Like what? Thought you were losing your touch. That'll be the day. 
Really like that. Do you want a refill or what? Quite a bit of please, bet. Right, love. Still here then? Not going to the big city? I'm going, don't fret. Okay, so you're going? I've had it up to here with this place. Yeah, so you keep saying. Look, I couldn't go yesterday, could I? It was my mum's birthday. Hey, it's mine today. Shut your eyes, purse your lips and see what God will send you. You're not going to kiss me, are you? Of course I am. No, I don't believe in kissing. Sun hygienic. <laughs> oh, well, I wasn't going to charge you for this, but in that case it's 64p. Oh, no offence, man. No, I'm taking that. Just up all your clogs, start letting water in. <laughs> Many happy returns, love. <laughs> yeah. You know what, Mrs. O got me for my birthday? Only Bruce Springsteen, didn't she? She got talking to some skinheads in Crawford as well. She's buying it. <laughs> Get well in the tire. You like it round here, don't you? Yeah, it's okay. Can't think of anywhere better. Not in this country, anyway. Anywhere's better than round here. I've been a few places, you know. When I was in the army. Have you? Mm. Really, no. Oh, we had a Tembi once with Cubs. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about then, do you? If you want my opinion, you're going for the wrong reasons. I'm browned off. Yeah, not with round here, you know. Not really. You're going because of Andrea. Rubbish. She's the last one's flavour. You've not settled down going in the mood you're in. You've got no chance. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang around here and wait for something to happen? So that will turn up. It did for me. I mean, I was out of the job till Brian took me on. That was like a miracle. Miracles don't happen. Especially not to me. Oh, feeling sorry for yourself. Well, you feel even worse in London on your own. At least you've got mates round here. Yeah, and she's still round here. Yeah, but she's not living on your front doorstep anymore. Yeah, but I could find out where she is living. I suppose so. Would there be any point? I like to think there might be. Be harder doing that 200 miles away. How's the shop conversion going, Councillor? Oh, very well. Touch wood. These lads seem to know what they're doing anyway, the ones that are doing it. Well, that's a change for this country. Well, I do have one reservation about you going self-service. Do you? Yes, you're going to lose that personal touch, aren't you? Well, I'll still be there, won't I? And Deirdre. I was only take the money. It's a modern way, I agree, but it's a retrograde step to my way of thinking. I mean, I like to be made a fuss of when I go into a shop. I don't mind so much being fleeced. Fleeced? You've never been fleeced in my shop, and you never will be. I'm not talking about your shop in particular. I'm general, you know, talking generally. Yeah, well, it sounded to me as if you were. Didn't it you, Mike? Yeah, I think yeah as a matter of fact, it did, yeah. I think you're being touchy. You want to watch that mouth of yours, you know. You want to be careful what you say. Are you threatening me, Councillor? Yes, I am. Hey, what's going on here? I'm not having old fellas fighting. Yes, Mr. Tindall, can I help you? Uh, bacon sandwich and yes. a cup of tea. Okay, all right. Uh, is Mrs. Pierce not in today? Oh, no, she just popped out for a minute. She'll be back soon, though. All right. Oh. He wants to know where Mrs. Pierce is. He is keen, isn't he? Well, you know what it is, don't you? It's all that uh, fresh air he gets bowling. <laughs> oh, uh, one bacon sandwich. Do you think we should be giving him red meat? Oh, yeah, of course. Not a bad day. No. It's been a poor summer, though. Give us another month, we'll all be back in long vests again. No, it's been a poor summer for bowling. Well, you bowl, do you? I do. Do you? No. Golf's my game. Golf, eh? Hey? Scratch player. You must be good. Natural athletes. Mm. Phyllis? Oh, it's you again, Bayek. You must like our grub. It's not bad. I've had better, though. Not in this town, you haven't. No, I was just wondering what time do you finish here? Why? Well, do you fancy coming to watch me bowl this afternoon, eh? There, you think you're a right dab on, don't you, on that bowling green? You'll be selling tickets next. Well, there's not many much better than me. I might as well have got a bye through to the second round at Park Trophy. I'm playing a right on to a fella called, uh, Sugden. Percy Sugden? Well, P. Sugden. Do you know him? Not really. How do you know his first name, then? Mind your own business. Well, anyway, he's not much good at bowls by what I hear. Can you get off this afternoon? No, with the ladies' union coming in later. I wish you'd stop doing your courting in working hours, Phyllis. Yeah, it's very embarrassing to an innocent lad like me. You wouldn't deny a girl a bit of an Indian summer, would you? Couldn't help her overhearing what you were saying about Percy Sugden. Oh, do you know him? Very well, I. And so does Phyllis. You know what I mean? If he smoked a pipe, she'd be lighting it. Marry, once he sees him, I'll never know. All right, little twitty is. 
Percy sucked him, eh? Oh, you know him. Because he rovers return a lot. <laughs> Have you? Gloat. I'm surprised your mother isn't with you. It's all you're doing this, you know, you and her. What's it got to do with me, Mum? I never wanted to come and live here, but I could have put up with it if you lot hadn't been next door. I'm talking to you. You've driven us away from here. Do you know that? Don't be so daft. Don't turn your nose up at me. I had you take the first time I set eyes on you. You're just a rough lad like a lot more. Andrea didn't think so, did she? We've had to slink off like criminals because of you. Do you know what that's like? Do you? And we're not criminals. We're a decent, hard-working family. It's you lot who are trouble, and we've been tired with the same brush. It's true, every word of it. We'd have been all right, but for them. Go away to the house, Ellen. She's not herself, Terry. What can you expect? Where have you been? I thought you said you were coming in for your dinner. I'm here, Anna. Well, do you want out to eat? I'm not hungry. I suppose you've seen furniture van next door. Couldn't miss it, could I? Yeah, well, good riddance to bad rubbish, that's what I say. They hate us. I'm not wild about them. Andrea couldn't have hated us when... Well, you've got to forget about Andrea, love. All you can do is keep longing for him. Well, he'll just track you down. He will. My mother called me rough. She did what? Is she still there? Calm oh, down, ma'am. She was upset. She didn't know what she was saying. Don't care what she was. Look, cool it. They're going and that's the end of it. What about Andrea? There's no point. Finally realised that. Can't fight hate. And what about you, love? What are you gonna do? Make a fresh start. Where? I don't know. I might as well try up here. It might be easier than in London. I'm sure it would, love. Anyway, I I'll have to get back to work. See you at tea time. Now, you will be all right. I'm fine. Hello, Percy. All on your own, you are you? Uh, sometimes your own company's best. Oh, yes. This is where you're spending your time while the shop's being converted, is it? I keep trying to throw him out. He won't budge. What are you having to drink? It's all right. I've only come in for a bottle of lemonade. Hey, it's very expensive, is it? Now, watch it, Alfred. I'll boycott your mini market. 60p, love. See, what do I say? We sell that for 56p. It's worth an extra 4p to be served by me and set law. Of course it is. Hey, listen, what are you doing for your meals today? You can come to our house for your tea if you like. No, I'm booked up, sir. Greases again. What's going on? Nothing's going on. She's merely being a good neighbour while the shopper's in a mess. She can be very neighbourly, can Rita. She's such a warm person. <laughs> now then, you two. <laughs> Troll, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, hey, don't forget, first thing in the morning, bright and early, grand opening. Has he bought himself a pinstripe suit? Two. <laughs> yes, my love. Light bottle. <laughs> 42 pence, please. Do you know, uh... Percy Sandham. Yes, that's him, over there. <laughs> you want something? Yeah. Percy Sandham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam Tindall. Sam Tindall? Oh, it's Tindall. I'm playing it next round at uh, Park's Trophy. Pleased to meet you. I wish I could say same, pal. You what? You know Mrs Pierce, don't you? Yes. Well, I'd like to put you straight about her. Straight? She's spoken for, pal. 
Oh, I'm very pleased to hear it. Well, that's not what I've heard. I've heard that you keep bothering her. Me? You. And I'm warning you, keep away from her. What are you talking about? Are you some sort of nutter? I am just saying, keep away from Mrs. Pierce. I've never been anywhere near her. Well, that's not what I've heard. I don't care what you flipping heard, pal. Percy, are you at it again? Well, you know what I think, don't you? I think Cusley should buy this cafe. <laughs> I mean, uh, who makes it the roaring success? It is, eh? I mean, we do. It's not a roaring success at the moment. It's empty. Yeah, but it makes a bomb, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't do bad. So, we buy it, and in a couple of years, we're millionaires. Have you any money? No, I haven't. But, uh, I bet Phyllis has got a few quid stashed away in the mill of society, haven't you? How do you think I'm looking for husband? If I had plenty of money, I wouldn't be bothering, would I? Huh. I'd be living in Torquay with the blue rinse and the food. Oh, oh is that your idea of paradise, I'll eh? say. You know, I've always wanted to live in Torquay and walk along the prom on a warm night in my figure. In your figure? Just a dress. Oh, yeah. The older she gets, the more shameless she gets. <laughs> you can afford to at my age, can't you? <laughs> oh, hello, Percy. Come I and guess. join us. I've just been accosted by a madman. Oh, you do meet some funny folk these days. A chap calling himself Tyndall, Sam Tyndall. <laughs> oh, you're playing him at bowling match, aren't you? You'll be Tim Love. What have you been saying to him about you and me? I've said nothing about you and me. I've nothing to say. But that's not what he thinks. He's been raving at me to keep away from you, raving at me at Rovers in public. Highly embarrassing it was, <laughs> like something out of the news of the world. Oh, I'd love to be in news at world. Well, I wouldn't, and I'd be obliged if you'd stop saying that you and me what? are, especially to a raving lunatic. Oh, Percy, look, why don't you sit down? Yeah, sit down here. I'll fetch you a cup of tea. I'll go and get you a cup. I've had a very funny day. I will loosen your tie if you feel a bit faint. Get off. It must have been a terrifying experience. He's got a right temper, that's that Sam Here Tyndall. You go, Percy. Mr. Tyndall reckons he's hot stuff at bowls. Oh, Percy will murder him. Mr. Tyndall might not be as hot at bowling as he reckons. How do you mean? Well, you know, uh, well, acting like he did it might just be a ploy to intimidate Mr. Sugden. To psych him out before the contest. You know, like boxers do to one another. <laughs> I'd prefer him to be madly jealous Ooh. of Percy. <laughs> uh, through the first fellow, it's still Scarab in the orange jacket, trapped by Dina's rest. Nearest to us is Crestor Option with a blue cap, and on the inside of that one, Sporting Sovereign in the white colours, followed by Lean on Time, the favourite. Oh, you're here? Three from the left of the picture. I was wondering where you got to. You haven't been busy, have you? No, it's been dead quiet this last hour. I'm whack though. Still haven't cleared up yet. Oh, I mean, Miss Betty. They're doing the grub what takes it out of you. I thought I'd go to a sauna and somewhere later. Do you know there's anywhere close here? Baths in Forest Street, just off the precinct. Great. Don't mind, do you? Huh? Good girl. I hope you don't think you're going to be drinking that because it's high tea you've come for, not a party. Well, it's only a dessert wine, eh? I thought we could sup it later. Smooth talker. How are they getting on at shop? Will they be ready for tomorrow? Well, I reckon so, I. Anyway, they're still in there. Well, you must be very excited. Oh, I'm very nervous, I know that. What have you got to be nervous about? Well, supposing it'll take off. I mean, you know what they're like around here. They might vote Labour, but they're very conservative. Of course it'll take off. You turn over or shoot up. Because it'll be more convenient. Uh, anyway, Percy reckons we'll lose the personal touch. Percy, now what does he know about fry the lentils? It'll be a huge success. It'll make your fortune for you. And after you're dead, they'll put a statue up to you in park. Like they do with big shots. Yeah, next that one of them, Alderman Rafferty. Yeah. Do you know, he made his brass from selling bad meat. Oh, well. <laughs> Sit yourself down. <laughs> Well, you've got chicken and salad and tin pears and cream for afterwards. That all right? Yeah, you're spoiling me, lass. I just go and brew tea. Well, Two sherries, ladies. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you very much. So when are you going back to Blackpool again? Oh, I don't know. I'm afraid I've had my holidays for this year now. Well, when you go again, I'll carry your bags for you. <laughs> Flirting with the new barman, I see. Emily, I don't know it. He worked in the cocktail bar at a tell we stayed at in Blackpool. Cocktail bars? Barman, Blackpool, we do lead a giddy life, don't we? You take in the mickey. 
Yes, that'll do. Yes, they do. Oh, thanks. He is good looking, isn't he? In a very manly sort of way. And charming, too. A bit too charming, do you think? Well, he does have a sort of light bulb smile. A what? Yeah, you know, it switches it on and off. Well, I suppose that's part of the trade. I suppose so. Cheers. I'll pay for it. Don't be sick, I like the odd whiskey. They say it keeps the blood thin. As long as it doesn't cool, eh? Ooh, no chance. Did you see that? I did. No argument. I'm paying. I'm buying. I've got so much to celebrate, remember? Oh, I've got so much to thank Mrs. Holm for. A lovely meal and a great pleasure. Oh, you're very welcome, Lord. Aye, aye. Not satisfied with one young man to squire. You've got to have two. Yeah? And they're falling out about who should buy me a drink. Jezebel. Well, you can talk. What about Donna Beach over there? Did you buy that soup? Now, Elder. Right, who's ordering? Two pints, please, Mrs. Ogden. Uh, I'll have a pot and lemon, please. Yes, thank you. Well, this is very nice, isn't it? Do you know, I am pleased you've decided to stop with us, Terry. I would have missed you for one. I know that, Mrs. Ogden. That's why I decided to stay. Oh, go on with you. <laughs> I suppose it could have been just a friendly kiss. Do you really believe that? No. Doubt if Bet's ever experienced a friendly kiss. Wait till I tell Rita. Hey, steady on, Alf. You'll have me tiddly. Hey, it's grand as this wine, isn't it? Yes, it is. I don't usually like sweet wine. <sighs> it's a funny life, isn't it? Funny peculiar, funny ha-ha. Both. Well, it does have a habit of creeping up behind you and kicking in the pants. I'll say that for it. Well, we both know about that, don't we? Yes, we do. That's not the only thing we've got in common, neither. Hmm? Well, I mean, we're about the same age, aren't we? Almost. And we've both got our own businesses. We both like the same things, I think. We're like two peas in a pod, really. <laughs> will you, um... Will you be staying open late, like you do now? Well, I'm hoping I won't have to. Not if I get the business. Well, you're bound to, aren't you? I mean, especially if this new estate goes up. Well, it won't do you any harm, will it, either? No. No, it won't. Do you know what I can see us doing? Merging and really cleaning up around here. <laughs> well, anyway, Alpha. Here's to the opening tomorrow. They'll be queuing out into the street. Oh, I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs>